Twenty years ago on September 11th, Mark Shanerock was walking the halls of the Pentagon. He looked at his watch and read 935. Then he got a feeling and took an unorthodox route to his friend's office. So I got to the C-Ring and instead of going out to the E-Ring, I turned right and I came down the C-Ring and I was about right over here in this area. At 937, American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon's outer ring, killing all 64 people on the plane and 125 people in the building. Shane Rock was just 100 yards away. And at that moment, you guys, if there is uh, such a thing as hell on earth, it was that moment. 20 years later, Shane Rock is retired from active duty in the Army, lives in rural Jefferson County, and serves as a county commissioner. He reached out to Fairbury High history teacher Mick Suey and offered to share his experience with students. If there's one reason I believe that my life was spared the morning of 9-11, it is to come out and share that message with this rising generation, uh, these wonderful young men and young women of today, that they can hear it from someone who actually lived it. Suey took the experience to another level, bringing his classes to the county courthouse to interact with veterans and help set up flags ahead of Fairbury's Founders Day celebration. They see and hear the respect for the flag and, and the country and the county and the, and the city. So they're learning, uh, you know, especially today, are learning a lot of things. After two decades, it's still difficult for Shane Rock to think back to 9-11, but he says he now finds it therapeutic to share his story. More than that, he wants youth to appreciate the past and recognize the quality of life offered in America. We can take it for granted very easily, and so it's important that we're reminded of what we have and what it took to get it. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks good, for coming in and talking good, to us. Good questions. In Fairbury, Michael Shively, News Channel, Nebraska.